how are you? Welcome back to another Lego Lover 117 video. And right now, we're doing the Black Friday haul. Or technically it's the day after Black Friday. Yeah, I actually didn't go out on legitimate Black Friday this year like I did last year. Uh, I went today, which is Saturday, and it's technically the day after Black Friday, but the place I went to, Meyer, they had a substantial amount of stuff left over from Black Friday, and I was actually surprised at what they had left over. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up here, and I'm going to unbox it for you all. That's why I have a pocket knife here. So, the first title I picked up is the first Hunger Games movie. Now, this was, originally right there, was $10. Alright, now that red dot means it's five dollars so I got it for half off now I already own Hunger Games Catching Fire and I picked it up at Target um, the Wednesday before Black Friday that's because my Target had already had their Black Friday prices in full swing so Catching Fire was five dollars the first one was five dollars so all in all is a pretty good deal for both uh, of them uh, uh, of them, and I'll just watch Mocking Day Part 1 on Amazon Prime. Without further ado, let's open it up here. Rip off all the cellophane here. Yeah. Pop the sucker open. Security sticker. Alright. Ooh, the Blu ray disc came loose there. That's what was jangling around in there. Rip off the security sticker because I hate keeping those things on there. A digital download copy code, we'll put that on the floor there. It's probably expired, more than likely, because they don't ever update this, the stupid codes after release, and they just leave them in there, so you're screwed basically if your code's expired. So, anyway, it comes with the Blu ray and the DVD there. And I'm actually going to switch. Or no, wait, that's the special features disc. Never mind that, there's no... There's no DVD. Uh, that's the Blu-ray disc. Or the special features disc there. Yep. Code expired in 2013. So yeah, that's worthless to me, I suppose. But hey, I don't really need it on digital anyway. But it's always nice to have, I guess. But So yeah, that's the first Hunger Games. I have seen this movie. I didn't see it in theaters when it came out. Um, that was like back in, what, 2012, I think? Uh, I did see it on Redbox, I think, in 2013, maybe? So yeah, that's how I saw the movie. Um, I remember very little uh, about it, actually. I, rem I remember there's a lot of shaky cam, so I remember that very vividly. Uh, but yeah, the next and final movie... That's right, there's, there is one more larger thing that comes after this movie here, but... but I only bought two movies this year, which is a downgrade from last year where I bought three, but it's also a upgrade because they're both Blu-rays, and last year there was only one Blu-ray, so yeah, there's two Blu-rays this year and two movies. So yeah, the next and final movie up is American Sniper. Now obviously, the price tag there said it was originally $27. Now that's price gouging. Meyer has some of the worst prices I have ever seen for Blu-rays in the history of Earth itself, but that sticker right there, the blue dot right there, seven dollars. So let's open this up. We had a decent amount of copies of, of of American Sniper. Actually, I found two copies of the Hunger Games, one of which I brought home. Uh, but I found at least ten or twelve copies of this on Blu-ray, and even more on DVD. Let's pop sucker open. Here's my digital download copy. Let's see if it's expired. No, actually it's not. That's cool. I I, I can actually use this. That's cool. But yeah, it comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. That's actually a DVD disc this time. I looked at it this time. Different than Hunger Games. But yeah, I've actually never seen this movie. Um, my parents saw it in theaters when it came out, and it was really my dad who recommended this to me, and I wanted to see it but I never got a but I never got a, a chance to actually pick it up but yeah it's in my 
collection now, so that's cool. And plus, it has Bradley Cooper, Rocket Raccoon, as the as the main guy. So yeah, that's cool. The digital download copy over there, and we'll redeem that later. But yeah, those are the two movies I picked up on Black Friday. So in total, both of these cost me about thirteen dollars. When really, in reality, this would have cost let's see, twenty-seven plus ten. Both of these would have cost me $37 if I paid full retail price. So that's a pretty good deal in my uh, uh, opinion. There are others who would who would say, oh, there's, there's better deals out there. Well, this is the deal that I chose. Now, there was one other thing I was actually probably planning on buying. I'll set those back there. But they had, um, they had the Fast and Furious 6 uh, Steelbook version there. They only had one copy of it. It was five dollars, and I was actually considering buying it, but then I realized I would only be buying it just for the steel book because I love steel books, so the only one, and the only one I have right now is Jurassic Park. Uh, but yeah, I was actually considering buying it, but then I said, you know what? You haven't seen the other Fast and Furious films. You would only you would only be buying it just for the steel book, and so I just put it back. So I was like, yeah, I don't I don't think I'll buy it. But yeah, there is one other thing that me and my parents actually pitched in on paying for. I haven't paid my part for this yet. I'm waiting until Christmas to take care of that debt. Uh, but yeah, there's one more thing that is technically a Black Friday purchase by me. So I'm pretty sure you all have seen my vlog about me, you know, watching watching those two Clone Wars. <laughs> so it's right, this vlog right here. Boop. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... You all have seen that by now, and in that vlog, I mentioned that, hey, my HP Pavilion took a poop on me. Well, I said, you know what, I had already gotten the hard drive back for it, and I still haven't transferred those files yet, but pretty soon I will, hopefully. Um, and that's why home media reviews and the Thomas Wynn Railway re re reviews have been on sort, of, on sort of a hiatus recently and until I can get those files off of that hard drive then yeah I won't bring those series back yet but pretty soon hopefully. But yeah I have actually acquired this little puppy right here. This is a Asus laptop. So yeah this is a Asus laptop. It is Muy bueno. I speak Spanish now. Let me. So yeah, check this thing out. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's silver down there. I'm watching some YouTube. Watching some John Flick stuff. Go subscribe to him. By the way, he's a cool user. And here's the home screen. It's still Avengers and such. I've been slowly reinstalling the programs I had on. I had on the old one. I have Google Chrome, Skype, Voodoo, and any video converter. Haven't installed Camtasia or Roblox or iTunes yet, but I'll... Hey yeah, Max, what are you doing? You guys want to see my dog? Max. Yeah, he walked away. So yeah, I would say it's pretty much it for this Black Friday haul video. I suppose two movies and a new laptop. I'd say it's pretty successful. So yeah, I want to thank y'all for watching, and as always, Good night, everybody.